This is Lake Powell, the country's second largest reservoir, and it's drying up. Satellite images and CNN video from 2015 versus now shows just how much water has vanished. Miles of rock also tell the story. This ring we see on the canyon walls, they call it the bathtub ring, uh, that's where the water is leached out the iron from the rock. And that's how high the water was. That's how high the water was at one point. You said just in September, the right. water was just four feet above this ledge that we're looking at here, and that's just September. Right. So the water is dropping quite dramatically, quite quickly. It has. As water levels decline, so does power production at the Glen Canyon Dam, which harnesses the force and volume of the Colorado River and Lake Powell to generate power for as many as 5.8 million homes and businesses in seven states. We're knocking on the door at Judgment Day, I think. Judgment Day being when we, when we don't have any water to give anybody. In a worst case scenario, the Interior Department projects the dam could stop producing power by January. The agency is now weighing an emergency action that would buy more time. And now we're seeing how big the impact of the drought is. Now 44 million people across the West are experiencing a very severe drought. And we currently have the lowest snowpack in over 70 years. You can see all of these red dots indicating the groundwater drought indicator and how severe it is, not only in California, but all across the West. And so now that we take a look at our Sierra snowpack, it's doing the worst in the Northern Sierra, only at 27, 24% of normal and 33% statewide. And so with this drought, it's the worst and the lowest snowpack we've seen in about 70 years and the worst mega drought in about 1,200 years across the West. So why do we need that water in the Sierra? As the temperatures warm, the snowpack in the mountain drains down into the reservoirs and then eventually makes it down into the lakes. Dissipating Lake Mead. The largest reservoir in the country is sinking to unprecedented levels. The downward trajectory etched in stark rings along its banks, marking just how far the water line has fallen over the years. Exacerbated by punishing heat waves and accelerated by the relentless drought gripping nearly all of the West. It is the largest swath of land starving for precipitation since the U.S. Drought Monitor began keeping records. 2000 would be the start of what is now a 22-year drought. In just five years of that drought, Lakes Mead and Powell lost 50% of their capacity. This is a satellite image of Lake Mead in November 2000. Compare that to the much smaller footprint, a foreboding reality for the 40 million people in seven states and Mexico that rely on the Colorado River for water. Some 25 million people in Arizona, Nevada, California, and Mexico get their water from Lake Mead. That's more than the population of Florida. The U.S. Bureau of Reclamation says Lake Mead is now just 35% full, a record low, as the lake sank to an unprecedented measure. 